Yo, 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 this is King Ernie coming to you guys live and direct. First and foremost, hit the honorableearners.com. Grab your honorable, very honorable, CMOS Gold, 92 of the 102 minerals that your body is made of. More than anything, it replenishes those cells and gets you in position to do whatever you want to do as a man. I don't care if it's putting up a ladder and climbing on it and laying a roof. I don't care if it's getting on stage and performing. I don't care if it's you being a truck driver. I don't care what it is. Guess what? Your honor will be all the way in tech if you get this CMOS Gold 92 of the 102 minerals your body is made of in your system. Today I wanted to talk about the whole rat thing. You know, a lot of people hear me go on about rats this, rats that, and um, they take it and they say, well, you know, King Gurner is just having a bad day today, or maybe the old King Gurner, the old person who he was, that had all the negative with him, maybe that guy is around. Or maybe King Gurner is tripping for no apparent reason at all, because that's what he used to do. I'm going to say this to you and everybody else. You're living a lie. You're living a lie because when your brain and your mind hear something of the truth, it ducks and it dodges it. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot duck and dodge who you are as a person. You can't. Certain things are going to say the same even when you change. You see? But you got to understand the old you and who you were and how he carried it and how people didn't like you. And I respect and love that understanding. But for the most part, you got to step back and say, hmm, although he was a bad individual, some of these people that don't like you, you're like, why don't you like me? Or why don't you like me? Or hold on, you, come from behind that person, hi, and I heard you. You don't like me neither? And you'd be so surprised because it's like, these people never showed it. They never gave you who they were. But since I've been doing this, oh, I found out who a lot of people are. I know Philadelphia, the big time people who's in Philadelphia. I didn't heard about the calls they get, who's the King Ernie guy. I would like to have him on. They call a lot of the people that's kind of above the above in our city. And people from the rip. Oh, let me give you this. Let me tell you this. And they, and they get back to me. But I never get upset at that because y'all got to realize when you got social media, you don't need connections. I'm sorry. You don't. You know why? Because you build yourself to be that great where the connections find you. It's just that easy. And it's always been like that with me, even when I was in the streets. Um, no one likes what I'm doing. No one honors what I'm doing. But the people who have honor running through their veins. To give y'all input, or give y'all understanding of what the Honor Your Life campaign is, how it started off, and what it is now, and what it will remain to be. It started off me going in my community. So I started with my old neighborhood, started speaking in the recreation center, and me speaking in that recreation center. 65 speakers, I would kind of say, and I might be shortening myself, I would say, honestly, that's a lot of work, especially giving out free food to the community. Um, not a lot of people from the community came, not a lot. Good thing was I had a lot of outsiders from the community, people from across the world. They supported and came and they heard the message. I always speak on the youth taking their responsibility for things that they have to do that's obligatory upon them. Having a home, it's obligatory upon you. Paying bills, it's obligatory upon you. All the things that got to do with manhood, if you have a child, taking care of that child, it's obligatory upon you. But a lot of people don't understand that. But those things that are obligatory upon you, you have to do. So that means you have to get a job. You have to do something. 
But some of the children and some of the young adults, they have taken a different route. And they have been individuals that are a part of the streets. Now, I know my oldest son, he's in college. If he wasn't in college, I would be worried to death about him. You know why? Because I understand and I know that the streets have no honor. But more than anything, I would be worrying about a friend of his, the closest friend of his, doing something to him, backdooring him or doing something that he may not be able to see because he don't understand and know the streets really. And that would be a warning. Those examples, that's what I always gave to my children and I always gave to people that were under me that was younger. I always gave them the fears of what's going on in our community. You wouldn't want someone to set your child up. Even if your child has been set up, has set people up before and is a rat, you still wouldn't want nobody to set your child up. So what you would want to do is allow your child to know before he actually come into the streets, hey, pay attention to what this brother is saying, King Erna. I heard you was running around a little bit, and I ain't here to ridicule you, son. But listen to what he's saying. Your best friend, the one you thought was super cool with you, the associate homie friend that you thought, you know, I don't see him a lot, that's my man, though, that you thought was down with you. Cannot just do these things I just mentioned before, like kill you or harm you and things like that. That's not the only thing they can do. They can also put you in prison. They can also lie and put you in a position to get killed. You see, those two things, I would feel any person who hasn't been in the streets or even the ones that have but hasn't been replayed back to what happened in those streets that they remembered that happened to their friend or their friend's friends or whatever the case may be. They embrace it. This message is good for them because it gives them that fear that you got so many rats in one city. I just spoke about three or four rats from my city within a week time. And within a week time, I rattled up the city. I got everybody. Yo, he just said so-and-so. I got some people. Damn, I never know, knew he was. Or damn, I'm out of this game. I'm finished. Whatever the case may be, they see and understand why my message touches home to everybody that's living in poverty or even middle class and just want to make a couple extra dollars and feel like, let me go ahead and hustle. You will not get away with it. You will not be unseen. Because the things that are going unseen is individuals like the guys that I'm mentioning, these rats, that are taking that information and giving it to not just the government or the police or the detectives, but to everybody also in your community. So now you think what you're doing is a secret and everybody knows what you're doing, but you still go on harder than anything. You start to hear the rumors first. Then you start realizing they're jealous of you. So you say you want to get back. And this is where they trick you at. Because you start spending your money into things that you know that you call, I'm pooping on them, I'm doo-dooing on them. Nah. You know how you kill them with success? That's what pooping on them mean? You stay out of jail. You stop doing things that can get you put in jail. And that's what my message is plain and understanding is clear. I've had so many workshops that maybe you guys didn't understand that I may stay and speak on a workshop for a very long time, like hurt people, hurt people. And when I first started speaking, that was my first, first workshop, hurt people, hurt people. Then it was nerds versus gangsters. Then it was the drug dealers or the new slave masters. If you know the history of King Erna, all you got to do is Google these things that I just said, and they're going to pop up somewhere on social media. This is what I added to my community, a substance of understanding. Young men, do not go on that route. Do not. But because people are so attached to people and with relationships, you get the thorough gangster guy who be like, you know what I'm saying? You know, 
that's like my brother though, or that's my homie's homie. I don't really deal with him or yeah, oh yeah, man, man, I don't really mess with him like that. But all the ones I just gave you that gave all these scenarios, I gave all them scenarios to, they all deal with a rat. And that rat is waiting to lie on you or tell your unseen hidden agendas and things that you've done. And you lose. You lose because now you're in jail away from your family. But remember, the most knowledgeable information that I'm giving you guys is of the rat and what he does. How he recycles crime. Because there's two sections of recycle crime. And it's called stop recycling crime. Two sections. Section A for the rat. The one who goes home. Doesn't do all of his time. He comes home and um, he tells on the furniture. You know, and he, he keeps going back and forth to jail. And he's getting out because the government or the state or whatever are enabling him to continue to do the same crime over and over and over again. Then you have Stop Recycling Crime B, which is what pertains to individuals like myself. The individuals who go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then say, hmm, nothing came out of this. All I know is I just keep selling drugs to pay for lawyers, so uh, I don't want to do this no more. I want to help build what I once destroyed. That's where we have pure honor. So we got to get to that. Everything else to me is really irrelevant. You know why? Most of our black young men in Philadelphia, they're going to jail because of murder. Most of them are turning into murderers. Why? Because they don't have no curriculum activity. <laughs> Honestly. If it was something in the community for somebody to do, maybe they wouldn't have to bump heads and go back and forth. But it's always an OG that's staring out that pot and giving them all the lies in the world. But little do that young you know, that OG was a rat 20, 30 years ago. And that OG then told them people that they never knew those rats told them. And here it is, your child, who you told don't sell drugs. And mother, you're the one that said you're at work. You're RN. You're doing double shifts so you can make him keep him nice, paying the bills. You're doing everything is possible to keep your son home. But that chase, that feeling of what the OG told him, how he gonna have him in the benzo. Didn't know he was gonna have him in a Six by six, five by eight, five by eleven cell. Trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out, damn, you know, can I get a motion in? And I'm not talking about the wrong kind of motion. I'm talking about the positive motion. A motion to get back in trial, not a motion to get out of jail where you're lying on people to get out of jail. So the thing is, Father, you too. You work hard. Build, build, put buildings together, lifting stuff, bloom, so your child can go on the right path. Now here it is. You got to kick out all this money and work harder. And I understand you guys got to work, but you must attach them to the Honor Your Life campaign. You must attach them like the other 27 who are attached that everyone will never see because you know what? I'm not going to put my kids my arm around my youth that's a part of my program and say, here, I'm giving him tokens because he don't have tokens. So all the children of school can talk down to him and say, oh, King going to give you this from his program? I mean, what is the reason for that? Or, hey, come here, buddy. Listen, I give, I feed you when, when you don't have it, right? What kind of stuff is this? There's no honor in it. If we got to get up examples and get footage and some good footage, cool, we're going to do that. But, uh, Honor Your Life campaign is focused on making these children feel that fear. A person on my um, Instagram today, go follow me, y'all, at King Erna. Make sure when y'all go to follow me, guess what? Y'all grab that CMOS gold, 92 of the 102 minerals your body is made of. I mean, the bag ain't getting no smaller. We got bags of them, you hear me? 
everywhere I go, I drive with the bags, I move around with the bags, whatever, they in. It's in. It's in. And you know, get there. Hit the link in the bio on my Instagram. Get right to it. The CMOS will go right out. Everybody who didn't get their CMOS gold understand that when I received it back because all this government shut down, I don't know what's going on in the UK or what's going on in um, Canada. I don't know what's going on there. I can't tell you guys. But what I am doing is sending everything back out again Friday. So I will be sending everyone's CMOS gold out. CMOS gold goes out every Friday. Every Friday, guys, I am doing this by myself. Had a few people help me at one time. You know what happens when you get people to help you. They can't get it correct or they mix things up or they just put their hands in the cookie jar a little bit too far and you're like, hmm. So what I decided to do is take care of all of my business affairs by myself. So... Please do me a favor. If you're in the Philadelphia, Jersey, and Delaware area, get with me. You know what I'm saying? Get with me, especially nighttime in Delaware. I don't care where you at in DE, long as you ain't too far off. You know what I'm saying? Long as you ain't like right next door to Mer Merlin, where I can knock on the Merlin door. You feel what I'm saying? So, anyone who hasn't, I repeat, anyone who has not received their CMOS gold, Please contact me via DM on Instagram at Kingerner1 or my email, honoryourlifecampaign720 at gmail.com. Whoever hasn't received their CMOS goal, contact me so we can get it, get it straightened out. It's too much of this stuff. Y'all buying too much of it also for me not to make sure it's to you guys on time. You hear what I'm saying? And, it, and guess what? The money y'all paying for it, Y'all have the authority from King Erner and the honors to check me if it takes too late because never will I hold up CMOS gold. You know, you got to understand there's a lot of people that dislikes King Erner, people in the post office, I don't know. So that's why I just recently I started putting my business name, my business address on the packages. So anybody who hasn't received their CMOS gold, please allow me to know. And I want you guys to go to King Erna. One on Anchor. I have a podcast there that a lot of you guys been been missing. You got to get there ASAP. When you get there, you have to listen to every last one because it has a lot of honor to it. And guess what? You're going to attach yourself to it daily because what I go through, we're going to go through together. What I don't go through, you're going to understand. Damn, he's growing and we're going to grow together. King and Alive and Direct. Continue to tune in, everybody. And remember... Stay away from the streets, youngins. Don't follow that directions. Too many rules of you losing in these times. No rules of you winning. The court of honor has been snatched and it has been put, been put in my heart to give back to the people in an honorable way, in a pure honor fashion, live and direct.